Hannah Brown, what are your, your thoughts, your reflections on the, the last few days here? Well, it is my first time in Europe. So certainly, I, if, if Asia Europe Foundation's goal was to bring together Asia and Europe, I think they have achieved it quite Thank well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the Young Indo-Pacific Forum uh, has been a very phenomenal experience because uh, I have never seen another forum with so many uh, you know, uh, diverse people coming together, uh, so many different program points. And uh, all of this, you, you feel amazed when you learn that all of this is being led by youth. So uh, th this is a, um, a classic example of organic spaces created by the youth for the youth. Yeah. So that is the spirit of uh, the Young Indo-Pacific Forum. I have met people from across Asia and Europe, and uh, we hope to work together uh, in the coming days to secure um, a rules-based order in the Indo-Pacific. I think that's the priority. Uh, it, it, is, it is also a pleasure for me to meet with so many uh, of officials from European Commission, ASEAN as well. I met the Secretary General of ASEAN, by the way, uh, as well as uh, uh, mm -hmm. the European Commissioner for International Partnerships. Mm -hmm. So all of them, they share with me their aspiration for working together with our region and this outreach. Uh, this is something that must be appreciated. This is something we need as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you cannot exclude the youth from uh, these conversations, right? So that is why when this year we, we recommended that, you know, you include the youth in, uh, in, in, in the delegations, in the national delegations as well, maybe in the upcoming summits. Yeah. I think that is a very welcome step. Yeah. So certainly, uh, I, 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 I personally, I, I would like to uh, express my gratefulness for this opportunity to Police 180, European Guangxi, and STEER, because... Uh, I come from uh, Bengal in India and, you know, uh, I see youth who want to have a voice in these platforms. Mm -hmm. But uh, due to several factors, uh, we feel unheard. We feel like uh, we don't have a space on the table. So I, I'm so proud to represent their voices today mm -hmm. in Brussels. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I think it's... Um, oh so touched by these words <laughs> because really it is so it's such a valuable opportunity to be able to bring bring young people together for me for for the work that I get to do here uh, or at ASEF and um, and to be able to support the organizers of Young Indo-Pacific Forum because because uh, it's it's all very well us us organizing but it's even better when we can support youth organizing mm -hmm. as well um, you touched on very briefly the the, the message that we, we put together yesterday. So this was really great. The, so today we're actually recording this on a sort of historic day. It's the first EU ASEAN summit, the commemorative summit, after 45 years of relations between the two regions and two institutions. Um, and we were very happy to be able to record yesterday a video message that was delivered at the opening ceremony of the EU ASEAN summit. And this was a message that was put together by youth delegates yesterday, by representatives from the Young Indo-Pacific Forum and a couple of other youth initiatives. And and this is exactly something that we called for, as you said, Anna Ban. We, we followed up on, on Commissioner Erpelainen's mm -hmm suggestion to have a youth delegate uh, a youth representative in the delegations of the upcoming and future summits and i think this is just one recommendation one th small thing that they should do and should we really hope to see in the future um and so we're we're we are very happy to um have been able to deliver this message i think uh, there's a lot more that can be done i mean we would have liked to be there in person of course <laughs> um but it's a start and and it's a it's a space where the, the voice wasn't there before hasn't been so i think it's really great that we were able to do this and put together the voice of the young people um do you guys have any comments or or reflections on yesterday's eu asian youth summit which was a side event of of today's summit or, or the message that we, we put together? Anaban, would you like to start? Well, uh, yes, uh, I, I feel like the the fact that I, as a representative of the broader Indo-Pacific region, even got a seat at the table, because I'm from a non-ASEAN, non-EU country, mm -hmm. but I still found a, a seat at the table because both of our partners in EU and ASEAN realize the need for outreach in the broader, broader region. 
that is why EU are th- that is the significance uh, I would say of the EU ASEAN summit and within that the EU ASEAN youth summit as well. Yesterday, uh, if you if you noticed, I I, I led an intervention uh, in the plenary session where I said, see the significance of the EU ASEAN youth summit is that mm-hmm. now there is a human factor involved. You know, you coming over from Asia, sitting with your colleagues uh, from Europe, many of whom who sh- shared their stories with me and say that you know the consequences of say the Russian invasion, uh, they face it in their daily lives. Uh, it touched my heart now when i go back now when i work in the policy spaces i know someone i uh, someone i met back mm-hmm. there and told their story to me face to face they are getting affected my choices my decisions uh, as a youth leader back home they will affect people in europe and beyond as well uh, so there is a human i think the human angle that is the essence of having a eu asian summit we are essentially i i would say there, there must have been at least five future prime ministers or presidents in that room <laughs> with me. Sure. So certainly, we are, we are, uh, we will be the leaders of the future. So it is certainly very crucial that we convene with purpose and form a shared vision of the of the future that we want. Mm-hmm. I would say we're leaders already. <laughs>